Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we'll be doing a quick unboxing of the Samsung T7 SSD. This is a 2TB variant and uh, this is currently manufactured in Korea. And uh, in my last video, I already mentioned that I'll be like uh, buying an SSD soon to test it out with my Mac and iPhone. Basically, in today's video, we'll be checking whether this thing is compatible with all these devices. I'll be testing it with my Mac, with my iPhone, as well as my OnePlus 9RT. So basically, I got this package from Amazon today. So without further delays, let's get into the unboxing part. Basically, these are the contents that you get along with the box. And you'll get a USB A to C cable, USB C to C cable and you will get your SSD and this is like very 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 small and uh, lightweight it's like almost the size of that of an ATM card probably not exactly but looks like that it's like very small so it's like you can like keep it in your pocket and travel uh, use it for travel purpose and also you'll get a, a manual along with this one but I know that most of y'all won't be reading this, so we'll keep it aside for now. And basically, so the packaging which this comes in is pretty cool. So now the important part is to test it and see whether this thing is compatible with the Apple devices. So, so that is the main purpose of like why I bought this. So let's test it out now i connected my ssd to my mac and once you like connect it using the c cable you will have a light over here blue which mostly indicates that there is like power to the ssd and once you connect it for the first time probably it will show this thing that is uh, whether to allow access or not so i'll click on allow and now let's check and see whether this thing properly works or not. I see a blinking light over here. I'm not sure why that is. So let's see if this thing properly reads or not. So I can see uh, the SSD is visible in my desktop in Mac. And uh, on opening it, I saw these three files, but I'm not sure what it is. So I'm not gonna do anything as of now until I get more information regarding that. If you know what it is, do let me know in the comments. And now what we're going to do is that we're going to try and copy something to the SSD to see how, whether this thing works. So let's uh, drag this particular folder. This folder actually contains a lot of my videos which I upload in YouTube. So it has a uh, sufficient size to test. So let's see if this thing works uh, or not. So let's drag and drop it onto my SSD. So... What I can see is it's copying 23 GB of data and the transfer speed is actually pretty great. So it's saying about 10 seconds. Yeah, so the copying is done. I'm gonna go inside. Let's do one thing. Let's play this video, it should be enough. There are no warranty. I think comparative yeah it works actually and that means that uh, this particular SSD is compatible with Mac so now let's test it out whether it's compatible with iPhone that's the real question that I wanted to know so now let's check and see whether the drive works on the iPhone so firstly we'll go to files I've already connected the drive and it's already visible there so what we'll do is that we'll copy something and see if that works because this is the biggest problem in iPhone, especially if you take a 128 GB, you won't have enough like size or storage. So in order to avoid that, uh, what I'll do is that I'll just click on copy and uh, 
go to the drive. So this is like the folder that which we copied from Mac, it's already there. So now what we'll do is we'll paste and see. So it's pasted. So that means that the copy paste, this thing works. And what we'll do is that we'll just open that folder which we copied from Mac and we'll play some video. Maybe we'll click on this and play any videos to see if it works smoothly or not. And it's there, it's visible, everything looks fine. So that means the drive actually works on my iPhone, which is actually one of the major reasons for me buying this one. And looks like it does work. So time for final conclusion. And I did check it out with my Mac, iPhone, as well as my OnePlus 9RT, the Android device. And it works with everything. So I'm pretty much satisfied with this product at the moment. And uh, for those people who are like wanting to know the details of this one, I am like uh, showing the box which has all these information. And this would definitely be helpful for you. And I think the basic doubt uh, to anybody watching this video is that whether this thing is compatible or not with the iPhones mostly. Because Mac, it should work. That is like something which is known. But sometimes iPhone might not read uh, like normal SSD. So that might be everybody's doubt. Even I, I had that doubt. And finally, I like checked it out with everything and it works with every other device. And uh, basically, if you have a Mac with like a 256 GB based uh, storage or an iPhone with 128 GB uh, based storage, definitely that is not enough. So for those people, definitely you can get an SSD. And this particular version is like 2 TB and um, there is like a 1 TB version also. So if you prefer that, you can like get that. But I would definitely suggest you getting a 2 TB version because definitely uh, in the longer run, it would be helpful. So that's it. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for the next video.